Something big happened last night that kind of backs up what I've been saying for a while. And what I need people to realize is that SHIB is ready to explode at any moment. Kind of. Okay. I, I want to get into this a little bit. Now, what I'm talking about is that BTC actually exploded. It was down deep around 25K. And then it exploded to almost 26K out of nowhere. And what happened with this was that shorts got squeezed. If you guys remember, this has been something consistent that has happened throughout this, this year. Okay. We can see it happen multiple times. Obviously, earlier in the year, as we got into March, shorts got squeezed. We had the USDC DPEG and then BTC exploded. Same thing, consolidation for a while. And then shorts got squeezed, exploded, right? We may be on the verge of that happening again when it comes to Bitcoin. It would actually be very surprising because chances are if we go on that kind of a big squeeze run, we could set a new yearly high. Now, I'm a little bit more tempered in my expectations, okay? I've talked about the fact that I think that September is going to be a sucky month. We may do what we did back in 2019, kind of trickle down. And what people need to realize is this is why I don't play games at these times, okay? I'm not, not selling my bag, waiting for it to go lower, you know, especially when it comes to SHIB, because at any time, if you get enough liquidations, you could see SHIB price rocket. All right, you could see it explode well above this this range that we've been stuck in. And that's where I think some people they they get a little short-sighted and they miss out on the fact that right now we're very much correlated with BTC. So if BTC makes a massive bullish move to the upside, guess what? SHIB, the broader crypto market, they're going to do the exact same thing. That's what I wanted to make clear of. Now, I still think despite all that, I still think right now SHIB has some bearish movements ahead. I think we're going to do one of two things here. Obviously, we kind of exploded about 5% off of where we were at yesterday, which is a great sign. But I still think we're either going to go kind of floating in this range before making a move either in mid, was that mid-October, or we may continue to kind of move down here into the back end of this fire sale range, and we may not do anything until late November. One of those two things, I believe, is the way that we play out. There's no telling to know which one it's going to be. It's going to be, depend heavily on you know, some of those macro factors. It's going to depend heavily on what BTC is doing. There's a lot of things that are playing an influence into SHIB price right now. Not necessarily the things that I, I think some people are assuming. You know, Some people think SHIB's kind of doing its own thing. It's really not, guys. I talked about this last night. We're very much correlated with the rest of the market. Other alts are doing the exact same thing. It just doesn't have enough strength right now to get out of this range. And that's, that's what happens in bear markets, guys. You just... You really don't get that that individual strength until we hit alt season, until we hit a bull market. But I'll tell you what, there's going to be a point where the market's going to flip. Times are going to be better. There's going to be better sentiment floating around and assets across the board are going to explode. So just be prepared. Ship could explode at any moment. I don't think it's happening quite yet, but if it does... Don't say I did not warn you guys. So I appreciate you. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you smash that like button, that subscribe button. You can stay updated anytime there's new content live here on the channel. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.